Welcome to my video. Today I'll be talking about V-Motion and Riverbed Steel Fusion. So why would you want to do V-Motion? There could be a number of reasons. Could be load balancing between two hosts. Could be migrating from one host to another. What I'll be demonstrating will be V-Motion across two ESX hypervisors on Steel Fusion Edge devices. Steel Fusion is a hyperconverged infrastructure for the branch. How we differ from other hyperconverged infrastructures is that we have the ability to keep your data in the data center while running your compute at the branch. The Steel Fusion Edge device runs a steel head, a Steel Fusion storage service, and an ESXi hypervisor. VMware data stores are projected from the storage array in the data center to the Steel Fusion Edge through the Steel Fusion Core. As data gets written to the data store at the edge, the edge will trickle the data back to the core and to the storage array. With this comes a number of benefits that include consolidation of infrastructure at the branch, data consolidation, centralized backup, and data security. Branch hardware consolidation means getting rid of the storage array at the branch. Data consolidation means having all of your data at the same place, safe in the data center. Centralized backup means that all of the backups you do will be in the data center, removing the tape drive from the branch. One example of data center security would be if you were to turn on encryption at the edge. If you were working in a volatile location, this is exactly what you would do. Turn on encryption at the edge, and then just pull the plug and walk away without having fear of data compromise. So let's talk about vMotion. How does vMotion work with Steel Fusion? Well, first off, where is the vMotion being performed? Are we doing a vMotion from two different storage arrays or two different edge hosts? So let's start off with the, the former. Let's say two different edge hosts, right? What we're doing here is we will put another Steel Fusion Edge box here and we will have replication between these two storage edge services. And in that case here, we'll have the core projected out to one edge. And then you see here that the edge service is in HA. This is the active node, and this one is the passive node. Now bear in mind, this is only the active or passive node for the riverbed service. The VMware is gonna have its own HA and it will think that the two edges are the same storage device. So from an ESX perspective, these two hosts will see the same storage. We'll click here, we can see that the storage adapters will have the X number of LUNs, X number of targets. and X number of devices, these four here. And these will have the same devices, these four here. It'll, it'll see it as a riverbed storage array. You can see the storage devices here. And we can take a look at the data stores as well. Or we can click on the data stores as well and you can see them here. So the device backing is a riverbed storage storage array. And as such, you can do vMotion, you can do VMware FT, you can do VMware DRS. All of those things are possible with Steel Fusion. So let's do a quick vMotion. So say I just want to be motion this machine. This machine is running on pod 3 2100A. Let's move it over to pod 3 2100B, right? 
It's running on 2300, 2100 days. So we'll just do a migrate. And we can say change compute only. Just a couple of more mouse clicks. And we'll be done. So now, what if I want to vMotion some existing workloads? Some stuff I already have at the branch, if I want to consolidate host and storage at the branch to SteelFusion. Well, here's, so here are a couple of Dell servers. And here are some VMs that I could migrate. Let's try this one. So if I want to say migrate this one to my SteelFusion box, I can just go to migrate. And so really, as long as the VM kernel ports can talk to each other, this is not a problem. So I will just choose one of my Steel Fusion data stores. And I'll just hit next. And I can choose either of the hosts. Either way, it's going to go onto the riverbed Steel Fusion LUN, which is the storage here, and it'll be written back to the core and back to my storage ray in the data center. So we can just say next, next, and finish, and the vMotion will begin. We're going to take a look at the work in progress here. Thanks for watching.